Welcome in, welcome in, Maths Lab Party people. Welcome into the math torture, the math fun, whatever way you want to call it, we're going to learn in this video. So, as always, you know, if you like this video at the end of it, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. It takes two seconds and you benefit. Let's go ahead and do it. First things first, as always, everybody, read the question. As always, no matter what, what is it that we want? That's our priority. And we can always find that right there. Again, the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. That's always where you want to look first. Don't confuse yourself with all the information. I see here that I want to know how many total items are in the container. Okay, great. So now that I know I want to find the total items, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and mark that down. Blank total. And so one thing that I also want to take advantage of is the word if. Whenever we see the word if in the problem itself, so it's like, if there are 105 yellow, how many total? Well, that's basically blatantly telling you that the number of total items and the number of yellow items, they are related. They are being compared. So make sure to write that down because that could be very important information. All right, look, so if you like Chipotle burrito bowls, then you are going to love my ASVAB program. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182, and I'm gonna show you how to raise your score the right way. So you won't have to pay a dime, you won't have to put your credit card in, all you have to do is confirm your email and phone number, and you get access to all of my classes for a full week, all the recordings, over 500 available, over 20,000 practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, and everything else that comes with the program. There is no reason why you shouldn't take advantage of this because I'm here to show you that raising your score and getting the job you want is not a fantasy. It can be a reality if you're willing to work hard. So go ahead, sign up now, and I'll see you there. So we have blank total, and we have 105 yellow that go along with it. Okay. Now the next thing that I'll do is I'll stay calm here. I'm going to look at the information that I'm given, and then I'll make a decision as to how I want to proceed. Because once you lay out the information, that could basically tell you exactly what you're dealing with. And so for those of you with experience in my classes, you may notice that this is gonna be a proportion problem and you're absolutely right. So the way I know that is because we're given the ratio of purple to yellow, and that's 35 to 49. So you may be seeing this and you're saying, okay, I saw the word ratio, I saw a ratio, we're comparing the same things. So we may be thinking proportion all the way. Again, that's correct but be very, very careful about setting up the proportion the right way. As always, the key to proportions is compare the same things in the same way. One more time, compare the same things in the same way. If you're doing that, then you're doing it correctly. Because if you're taking a look at purple to yellow, you're gonna have yourselves over here, 35 purple, compared with 49 yellow. And I'm gonna write this on the side over here. I'm not actually gonna bring it underneath yet because I wanna show you that if I did, yeah, sure, the yellows match up. Yeah, absolutely. But does total and purple, do they mean the same thing? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. These two right here don't mean the same thing. So you have to be very careful because if I wanna make sure that I'm doing this right, yeah, my yellows are matched up, but this needs to match up too. This says total, not purple. So I wanna make sure that this says total. And to do that, nice and easy, I'll go ahead and say if I have 35 purple and then I have 49 yellow, well, how do I get the total? Just add them together. Add them together and you get your total, three plus five, or five plus nine, excuse me. That's gonna go ahead and be 14. Then you have three plus four, seven plus one is eight. So I have 84 total. And that's what I'll get rid of this here with. I'll get rid of that because I want to make sure that I'm comparing the same things in the same way. That's really the biggest key. So now that we're comparing total to yellow, total to yellow, now I can create my proportion, solve it nice and easy, and I'm done for the day. So here, we'll go ahead and erase this. And then we'll take this over here and we'll say, okay, we have T total over 105 yellow. So compare here to here, then compare the same way. 84 over 49. Sweet. And now that I'm here, again, we can solve this proportion nice and easy. You can always resort to cross multiplication and division. You can absolutely do that. But what I did notice was that this is going to be disgusting if I'm doing 105 times 84. I would really, really, really prefer not to do that. So I won't. But instead, I'm going to see if I can 
find ways to simplify this proportion by seeing if I can simplify a fraction or divide the same thing out of each numerator or each denominator. See if I can simplify before I begin. Because I noticed that 84 and 49 are both divisible by 7. I know that 84 is 7 times 12, 49 is 7 times 7. So that'll give me a new proportion here as t over 105 equals 12 over 7. Now that I'm here, is there anything else that I can do? Well, I also noticed that, hey, actually, 105 is divisible by 7. Because if you have 7, what's left is 35 to get to 105. 70 and 35 are both divisible by 7. So 105 is divisible by 7. If I go ahead and do that, here's what it'll look like. I can divide by 7 on both denominators. Perfectly legal. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And so from here, I'll have t over, and that's going to end up being 15 equals 12 over 1. So my final answer here is going to be t times 1, which is t, and then 12 times 15. Again, this is where knowing your mental math really, really, really helps. Because 15 times 10 is 150. 15 times 2 is 30. 150 plus 30 is 180. So the total number of items that we are looking at is 180. And the answer choice there is A. So as always, my party people, if you liked how we performed this math and how we went through it with you, as always, you can get more information on our full program to raise your score and get the job you want. Go ahead and text PROGRAM to 833-321-0182, and I'll show you exactly how we've taken over 1,500 students from where they were to the scores they wanted without all the confusion and without all the test anxiety. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's raise our scores and let's taste the ASVAB. Cheers. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.